Hello, welcome to Emoja Mini presentation about enterprise roles and user access mapping. In this presentation, we are going to talk about the main HR roles, specifically the HR Partner All, HR Partner CIC, HR Administrator All, and HR Administrator Exception Log. And we will provide you with a general knowledge of who will be assigned to which roles. First, let's take a look at the HR Partner All. The main tasks of this role include entering and approving all personnel information or actions for all types of employee groups and approving self-service requests initiated by staff members. Given the significant responsibility of this role in many UE1 processes and in reviewing and approving requests, it is designed to be mapped to senior level HR staff, such as the chief of HR office, HR officers, executive officers, administrative officers, and HR assistants or administrative assistants at senior level, namely level GS6 and GS7. In order to be assigned to this role, a user must successfully complete the Umoja HR Partner Training Program. In addition, please note that this role should not under any circumstances be provisioned to non-staff personnel unless explicitly authorized by OHRM. In contrast to the HR Partner All, the HR Partner CIC handles transactions for a specific type of personnel, the consultants and individual contractors. The tasks of the HR Partner CIC include processing shopping cart and purchase order for service of consultants and individual contractors, issuing contracts, and reviewing and approving service entry sheets that are required for the payment of consultants and individual contractors. Similar to that of HR Partner All, this role may be assigned to senior level HR staff, such as Chief of HR Office, HR Officers, Executive Officers, Administrative Officers, as well as senior level HR Assistants and Administrative Assistants, usually at GS6 and GS7, who are currently administering consultants and individual contractors. In order to have access to this role, the user must first complete the Umoja Managing Services for Consultants and Individual Contractors Training Program. Now, the HR Administrator All role. Users mapped to this role will be able to perform the following tasks in Umoja. First, create employee self-service requests on behalf of both staff and non-staff employee groups who cannot perform a system transaction due to any of the following no access to ESS, no access to computer or network, limited language proficiency, or limited computer literacy. Second, search for index number, and when necessary, submit a request for creating index number for staff and non-staff personnel. This role is to be assigned to HR assistants at G4 or G5 levels. To be granted this role, the user must successfully complete the Umoja HR Administrator Training Program. Finally, let's take a look at the role of the HR Administrator Exception Log. As the name suggests, this role records the exception decisions authorized by the Assistant Secretary General for Human Resources Management, the Controller, the Under Secretary General for Department of Management, the Secretary General, or other authorities, and generates the exception log number that is then conveyed offline to the requester to proceed with subsequent actions in Umoja. The exception log number serves as a reference number that facilitates the tracking of policy exceptions that have been granted. This role is assigned to a few users, such as the HR assistants or administrative assistants at G4 or G5 level from the offices mentioned earlier only. Users assigned to this role will be required to successfully complete the Umoja HR Administrator Training Program. There are more than a dozen other HR roles in the UE1 Enterprise Role Guide. It is strongly recommended that you refer to the Role Guide to understand the nature of these roles and their ma mapping guidance. Thanks for watching.